This video is going to be about compound inequalities. So here's what I'm talking about. Let's say you've got two inequalities. I've got x is less than 3, and I've written that in red, and I've got x is greater than 6, and I've written that in blue. And I also have this word or. I'm going to have to talk about the word or, but I'm not ready for that yet. So let's draw a number line, and I'll mark a 0. And since we're talking about threes and sixes, let's put a mark where the three is and put a mark where the six is. Now, I'm going to graph the x is greater than three in red so we can keep them separate. I'm sorry, x is less than three. And since it was less than, I'm going to use an open circle, which shows that it's not going to be equal to three, just less than it. And now I'll do the x is greater than 6, and I'll do that in blue. And once again, I've got an open circle, since I don't want to include the 6. So this tells me that x is less than 3. This tells me that x is greater than 6. And I've got this word or. Now, or means pretty much in math the same thing it means in English. It means we can either have this thing, the x is greater than 3, or we can have x is greater than 6. We can also have both. So what I'm looking for is the area where I've either got a red line or a blue line or both lines. Now in this case there's no place where I have both lines. So my picture, my graphic display of this compound inequality is going to look like this. If I want to write this out in interval notation, I'm going to start over here. I'm going to start with the lower end. Remember this goes all the way down to negative infinity. So I'll use a rounded parentheses and write negative infinity. And then I'm going to go up to the 3 but not include it. So I use, once again, a rounded parentheses. And then we use this symbol, this U. This is, a, is a, called a union sign. And it's basically going to mean the same thing as OR. And then I'll do the interval notation for the blue part of this. So I'm starting just after the 6, rounded parentheses. 6, comma, goes all the way to infinity. Another rounded parentheses. So this is my compound inequality. This is a way that I show it graphically on the number line, and I can write it out as interval notation combining the two intervals with this union sign, which means basically or. Let's take another example. So let's say, let's go back to the red and blue, let's say I have x is less than or equal to, oh, I don't know, 5. And once again, I've got an or. And I've got x is greater than um, negative 2. So let's look at a number line. OK, here's my number line. I want to put in a 0, show where a negative 2 might be over here, and a 5 maybe over here. Okay, so using the red pen, I want x is less than or equal to 5. I can fill in this circle since it's less than or equal to, and I'm doing less than, so I'm going off to the left, all the way down to negative infinity. For my x is greater than negative 2, I'm going to start at negative 2. I use a round circle because I don't get to the negative 2. And I'm going all the way to the right towards positive infinity. Now remember, this or means that we're talking about the place on the number line where I've either got x is less than or equal to 5, in other words, the red line, or I've got the blue line, where x is greater than negative 2. And it could also be the, be the area where I've got both of them. 
So looking at this, down here I've got just a red line below negative 2. Above 5, I've got just the blue line. From negative 2 to 5, I've got the red line and the blue line. So it looks like every place on the number line is going to be included in this compound inequality. What that means is when I go to write this as uh, an interval notation, I can just say that it's going from negative infinity all the way up to infinity. And if I want to show this on the number line without the red and the blue, let's see if I can fit it in up here, I would just have a line that goes all the way in both directions. Okay, now let's go on to and. We had, we had inequalities with or, we can also use the word and. So and actually, let's use the same uh, inequalities here. x is less than or equal to 5. We used that the last time. And x is greater than negative 2. Okay, so I'll draw my number line. Here's a 0, here's a negative 2, here's a 5. Writing x is less than or equal to 5. Fill in my circle. Go this way. Doing my x is greater than negative 2. Open circle. And I'm going to go to the right. Now the word and means that we have to have places on the number line where we have both the red line, the x is less than, less than or equal to 5, and the blue line, the x is greater than negative 2. Well, looking at this, this area down here to the left, less than 2, the negative 2, does not include both of my lines. So that's going to be out. The area above 5, greater than 5, also does not include both. So really what I'm talking about is just this area in the middle, from negative 2 up to and including 5. So writing this as an interval, I'm going to say that I go from not quite negative 2, because I don't really touch the negative 2, and I go all the way to the 5 and include the 5. And if I want to show that on a number line, let me just write another number line. I'll erase this both. I would show the area where both of these are combined, where both of them are present, and this black line would be the part on my number line that I'm dealing with. Let's fill in the and again. Okay. I want to do more examples of this. We're not going to have time in this video, so I'm going to pause it here, and I'll start another one right after it. And we'll call that part two.